Uh, good day, folks. So this is Sally Face, uh, episode one. Uh, I only don't have the episodes two to five as of yet. At some point, I plan to buy them, but uh, as of right now, I'm just doing uh, the first episode. Uh, it uh, just as a warning. I don't know if it'll flash up any warnings, but there is, uh, you know, content um, subject content that is uh, a little a little sensitive and all that kind of stuff. So just fair warning that maybe this might this might not be something you want to watch, especially if you're under the age of 16 or 17 years of age. So, uh, just just as a fair warning, I am familiar with this this game, but I have not watched it played in a long time. Uh, I believe this episode is free to play on Steam, or maybe I paid a few dollars for it. I don't remember, uh, uh, but it is on Steam, and uh, I am using a keyboard, but there is an option to use a controller. So let's just jump into the new game and and get started here. Hopefully, my recording's working because I don't trust my recording equipment anymore. It was just like the last time. Only this time it started in a hospital. Answer the phone. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see. Who is this? What are you talking about? Where am I? Sal, come and find me. Weird. Sounded like my dad. So I'm using the usual WSDA to move. I'm using Enter to... Or F to en interact. I think Spacebar also um, interacts. Okay... Looks like something's there, but it's too dark to see. Okay. So you only go, it's only side, side to side. Oh, light. Light is good. I like light. Oh, a key. A key. <laughs> exactly what I said. Q is for inventory. Okay. So this little person is in a hospital. Looks doesn't look good. That's all I can say. This way, nope. Okay. What am I doing? Where am I going? M N O P. I keep going to the right because everything normally goes to the right, so. Hmm. I don't know. Where am I supposed to go? What? Was there a clue as to which way I was supposed to go? Oh, I'm right, right back to where I was before. Oh, where the hell am I? I guess it's just a trial and error just to figure things out, right? How about C? No. How about B? Okay, how about A? Didn't I try A already? D? P? Okay. No. No. Like, is there anything that tells me what this I'm supposed to do? Not H. Okay, so it was G. Okay. What's going on? 
how and why am I outside in the rain in a house hospital gown? Okay. What's a, who's a good doggy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. Do I want to climb down? Probably not, but okay. Batteries not included. Open. Passcode. It's locked. What's the passcode? Batteries not included. Is there something that tells me what the passcode is? I don't know. I don't know what the, what's the password. Okay. Dad? You are not my son. My son is not a murderer. What? This is your fault. Oh, jeez. Mom? Are you... And that's when I woke up. Hmm, yes, it's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one, the one from the apartment. <clears throat> Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. Episode 1, Strange Neighbors. I believe this is, um, it doesn't take very long to get through this episode, maybe like an hour or so, so. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go, go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Can I go into my room? Aw, Gizmo. I see you made yourself at home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. Okay, just make, let me see if there's anything over here. Bathroom. Nothing exciting in here. Okay. Kitchen. Bags. Just some stuff get, Dad got from the store, nothing important. Sal's place number 402. Hello. I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought to not see. Now, Scram, I don't get paid to babysit. Police business, kid. Why don't you run along back to your parents? I wish I could. What was that, wise ass? Nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid, grumble, grumble. I'm protecting nosy freaks like you from seeing what they ought not see. Now, Scram, I okay. That's not what I want. I'm your fairy fucking godmother. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. Oh, so you're an asshole. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. No, nope, can't go that way. Oh. Let's go to the basement. Can I go to the basement? No. Oh, basement, you need a card. Mr. Addison. Oh, dear. What a frightful... Uh, pardon me. Let's start over. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? 
How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll be do good to remember that. Can I come in? Heavens no, I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Uh, sure. Bye. Farewell, friend. No one's home. Oh. What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. Okay. So long. No one's home. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick-or-treating, isn't it? Uh, 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 stupid good-for-nothing kids, grumble, grumble. Now let's go number two. I thought I went to number two already. Nope, I did not. No one home. Yeah, who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. Just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come on in. Oh, come in. Wow. Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is with your face, child? Oh, I know. Young teens. A new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself. I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no. It's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. These things are like my family, so if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? <laughs> uh, that's too funny. My god, child, have you ever, never seen my glitter ponies, Rainbow Spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies. Oh, the ponies. Uh, don't even get me started. Mm, yeah. Uh, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't want to. You won't regret it. Oh, that's it. No one was there. No one home. Um. Hmm, I guess no one is home. Oh, they're home. They're just not answering the door because they're doing something in there. Probably something they're not supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Three? I, I'm on number four, right? So. Can't go that way. No one's home. Hey! Oh my! Sir, you just startled me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. So if you'd never ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. Let's go to number five. This floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please make your way to the nearest exit. Okay. Oh. Hello? Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello, sir, are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry. I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors and... 
A dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? What the? That's where the bathroom door is locked. Okay, well that was interesting. Now what do I do? Do I just go back home? I can't go in the basement because I need a card to get down there. Did I go this way? Yeah. Okay. Hey kiddo. What do you think of this place? It may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. I miss Josie. I know you do, bud, but please try to give it a chance. School will start well, School will start up in a couple of weeks, and then you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm. I miss Mom. Yeah, me too, buddy. Me too. Try not to get into too much trouble. What am I doing? Okay. Can I leave the building? I don't have a card to get down to the bottom, so... I guess we'll try to go down to the main floor again? I don't know. Addison? Ah, uh, okay. Did I miss anything? I talked to him. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. There doesn't seem to be a way to leave. What happened, though? So! Yep, I know your speeches because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah. Don't worry, anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in. Nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven, just me and my stuff. Do you live here alone? Alone? Look around you, I have all the company I could ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. Was that the part that I missed? I said be right back, so I don't know how much we could be right back. Huh. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, no one's home. What level am I on? Number two? Try three again, maybe? Can't get past that. How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here too. I'm on call 24-7 for any urgent maintenance needs. 
Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home going on 10 years now. It seems like a nice place. You betcha! What do others say? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over 100 years old, you know? People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you'll n hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people don't seem... Uh, most people do seem to complain a lot about the small things. You can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in this life. Put your energy into that. So, do you know anything about what happened in 403? It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy com first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Who's Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Is there anything fun? Is there anything to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great, his name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Cool, thanks. Is this building haunted? Sal, sweetie, I've been taking care of the Addison Apartments for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. See ya, see ya, see ya. Now I can go down to the basement. Okay. There we go. At least it doesn't make me get things out to have to... Gee, I sure am looking forward to using this. Not... Lots of tasty junk food. I'm not really hungry, though. Did we just let ourselves in? Oh. What the hell? What was the hell was that? I was just saying the same thing there, Sally. Yeah. Hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come on in. Doors open. Oh, wow. Whoa, nice mask. It's a prosthetic. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now. I'm so I'm glad you like it. So, do you like have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about it. Okay, change of subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New, from New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. Eh, good way to do it. You're a complicated dude, aren't you? Aren't you, Sally? Or Sal. You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. Ah, that's what your mom said, too. Mother knows best. I like your shirt. Thanks. It stands for Sally Face. <laughs> I do have my own clothing line, so... Uh, it's actually for this weird metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's gotta change. Check out this song. It's the first single. The full album comes out in a few months. I'm going to assume this is copyrighted. I'm going to have to cover it over, but I'll try. Yes! Why do you live in the basement? My mom always says it's because we gotta guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent free with a maintenance gig. It's cool though, I don't mind it. I get to listen to music as loud as I want when she's not around. Nice. 
Yeah, it's like my own little ca bat cave. What happened to 403? Shh, not so loud, man. Um, pretty sure they can't hear you, Larry, because your music's very really loud. What? What is it? The killer is still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This was some scary shit. What happened? Okay, so I was helping Mrs. Sanderson with a clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. She tried to calm him down, but before she could get even a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked and I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man, just peeking through the crack in the bathroom floor. Anyways, it all happened so fast and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet, but even not even my mom, but I trust you. Okay. You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie, big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Shouldn't you tell the cops? Actually, I tried to talk to the detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like, my word isn't enough. Huh. What's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. He always talks through his little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison tea, please and thank you. To him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. Okay. It's locked. Was it 103? Yeah, Addison. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? Addison T, please and thank you. Yes, coming right up. Mm -hmm. There you are, sir. Please enjoy. How the hell do you get that through your mail slot? As in tea, it has a funny smell to it. Definitely not drinking this stuff. Oh, gold. Talk to Larry in the basement. Oh, I talked to Larry in the basement, though. Okay. Do I need to go back to the basement? I didn't realize it gave me golds up top. So do I still have that goal? Yeah, I still have that goal. Yo. What's this thing? That's uh, it's a police scanner. I can listen in an, on local cop chatter. How the hell did you get this thing? That's a story for another day, but hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here, and... I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. Been wait wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet! So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery, hostage situation, and that should clear out of the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make this those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up too once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery at, at like a gas station or drugstore. Make it a little more believable. Hmm, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this, head to your room, and let me know when you're ready. Just press that shift button there to call me. Okay. I like your paintings. Thanks, dude. It's my passion. So now... Use walkie-talkie in 402. Okay. So this game does... Oh, that's a, that's the outside door. Sorry. I do like a game that gives a little direction. And gives you, like, tasks to do. And tells you what the tasks are.
Okay, I'm in my room now. All right, let's do this. I'm going to make the call. Give me a second. Okay, son, I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it's worked. Go see if you can get into 403 now. Mm, my gosh. Salmon. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Look like anything important? Just looks like junk to me. Alright, keep, lo keep looking then. There's got to be something else. Examine. Man, this is pretty twisted. Tell me about it. Oh. The, there's these little figures. Looks like one is missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. Hmm. That's it. I know how we can get them. Get out of there and come down to the basement. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mrs. Sanderson got this super rare one or something. She was telling me about it the day I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offed her in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta set, get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I snuck into 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks! Fucking fatty. Alright, alright, I'll do it. Won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool, you're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get a feeling you've done this before? Ah, uh, nah. I just watch too much TV. So what room was Charlie in again? Ha 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 ha! 204. Okay. Good, it tells me, because I was like, I don't remember. I'm good with numbers, but not with those kind of numbers. I know, they're cool. So cool, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's Addison tea I smell? Yeah, I just got some from... Oh, I just love Addison tea. Give it here. Oh. Ah, oh, so tasty. So relaxing. Oh. Ah, uh, must have dozed off from a, for a second time. I hope you weren't thinking about touching my ponies while I was sleeping, Sal. I was starting to like you. Weren't dreaming of it, Charlie. Good, good. I'm glad. Say, so if you get any more Addison tea, I would love some more. Mr. Addison already cut me off for the day. So, okay. So there's nothing I, more I can do, right? Do I have to get more tea from Mr. Addison? Uh-huh. Okay. So I didn't read it. I figured you guys could figure out what I'm doing. There you are, sir. Please enjoy. Okay. Let's go knock that bugger out. Ah, oh, so relaxing. What? Okay. Okay, so obviously I have to wait longer. Oh. Oh, oh no, I, I missed it. What, what, what did he say? Get toy from... I didn't get that. Sally face, my man. Good luck. What? I didn't see what it was. I was clicking a button and... It, it moved and... Ah, do I have to go back and get more? 
Oh, darn it. Okay, let's try this a third time for, you know, see what happens. Yeah, I clicked A to move and it, whatever popped up on the screen from Larry there, it, it disappeared. So, okay, I have to wait till he's into a deep sleep, I think. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, now he's very sedated. Ah! I don't think I can get any more tea. Wait, I had more tea? I already had more tea. I don't understand. How am I supposed to how am I supposed to get this while he's in the room? I didn't do anything. I don't understand what's going on here. I was trying to walk away. What do I do? do anything else. Do I have to wait longer? If I go over there, he'll trigger him to wake up again. I don't understand. Also, how am I supposed to know what's the special toy? I mean, they all look kind of cool. I like all the other things that he has upon his shelf. Again! Like, I can't even get out. What do I do? Oh, come downstairs. That's what he said. And I didn't click anything for it to disappear. It just disappeared on its own, that, that thing. Yeah, only for a minute. What? Not this again. Did Chug put you up to this? No, I just got a weird feeling about this. Who's Chug? He's a big hit on three. Usually can't miss him. But anyways, I don't believe in ghosts. Never saw one with my own eyes, you know? I guess so. Play that Sandy's Fall song again? Sure. Metalhead, listen to Sandy's Fall multiple times. Achievement. Do I just sit around? Okay. I mean, I'm not mad about music, but... Now what do I do? I still can't get a toy. I need a way to make that tea stronger.
Have you been talking to that Larry boy? I can't put much faith in a teenager with a criminal record. Oh, uh... Look, I appreciate you kids trying to help, I do, but unless you've got some sort of evidence, then please refrain from spreading rumors. Mm. So long. Maybe I'll go talk to my dad. Hey, douchebag. Don't get tired of standing- Don't you get tired of standing there all day? Grunt. Any news of finding the killer? If I find out you're tampering with police evidence, well, you better pray- Pray I don't find out. Uh, okay. At least he's trying now, not drowning himself in booze, not really giving up on life, on me. Hey, a quarter, score! Okay. Okay. Well, I don't know. Are you sure he's not drowning in booze? Because he's- there's, there's a flask beside him. So I'm gonna- I'm going to question if that's true. I'm just gonna go to the basement and see if I can use my quarter. And get something from the vending machine? Oh, okay. Now what? Like, what do I do? Very dark in this house apartment. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do. How do I make it stronger? Do I have anything in our bags? Upstairs? There's nothing there. Don't think there's anything here. Why is it biohazard? I mean, I can see if it was an electrical cabinet, like a. Where I was in the. Da, 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 da. I don't know. Let's go up to five again. Anything new up here? Nope. The guy's gone. Just some creepy shit still. Is that a hole in the wall back there? Oh, did I ever go in the back? Oh yeah, I did try to go in the bathroom. And everything else was locked, right? Just you. No one home in 401. Is there anything I can make it in my kitchen that's stronger? To make it stronger? Nope. At least I have some light in my kitchen. Nothing in here. Sleep aid. Oh, come in handy once I have something to mix with. with. What do you mean? I have something to mix it with. Oh, so go get some more... Okay, so I don't have any tea? Oh, okay, so hold on. Okay, oh, not the bathroom, sorry. I get it. Okay. Okay. 
We'll see. Let's see what happens. Hopefully I didn't get too many already. I didn't realize the elevator buttons always start at the five, so you just go down. Uh, four, two. La 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 la, bathroom is this way. I have no furniture yet. This will knock that fat bastard out for sure. Okay, now go see Charlie in 204. What? Oh, are you positive this is a uh, new recipe Mr. Addison was trying out? Oh, I already had three cups. I thought it was way better than the other kid kind. I even... Oh, I have to try that. Give it here. Okay. Sorry, I, wasn't, I was reading, not reading out loud. Ah, oh, this is better than this his original. I don't know how he... Go to sleep. Use sleep aid with some tea. Oh, with the tea, sorry. Got the toy. Score. Oh, because it has blood on it. I didn't even notice that. Or did it have blood on it when it was... I don't know. I, I would think that if it had blood on it, he would have cleaned it if he's smart, but... Oh, not, not, not one, not one. I want to go basement. Darn it. I just turned up my fan a little bit, so in the house because it's a little bit warm in here. <coughs> Excuse me. Do I talk to him first? I got the toy. All right, Mr. Smooth Criminal. I knew you could do it. Thanks, man. I was nervous for a second there. I bet. Now all he needs to give it to that detective and it'll be all over. Okay. Where was he? Number two? Because he wasn't on four, where the crime happened, which would make more sense. He's only on two or three, I think. Okay, mm must be three. Oh, no, because the police officer was on four, right? Oh. Hey. Whoa, I'm... Hey. I'm Sal. Just moved in. You can call me Sally Face. Chug. Uh, nice to meet you, Sally Face. Nice meeting you, Chug. Where's the police officer? Detective, I mean, not here. Yeah, that's a police officer. I think I found something. What the hell are you talking about, kid? Well, I got this. Look, I'm busy here. If you got something important, go share it with the detective down the first floor. <sighs> okay. Did it tell me in my in my thing that I was supposed to go to the first floor? Probably did, and I didn't look. Doesn't tell you. Just makes the assumption that you'll know. Hey, detective. Hey, hello, Sal. I've got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room. How did you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie, and he was showing me all his toys. That's when I noticed one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well, a little detective in training, huh? Haha, <laughs> not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. 
just remember next time you come to us with this info instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Well, you know, Larry kind of did already try to tell you, but you wouldn't listen. Yes, sir, you got it. Okay, so now what I do? No gold. Okay. I would be concerned that they try to cover it up. Oh. Oh, I can go even farther now. Can I go outside now? Good work, Sal. You can rest easy now. Can I? I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. I'm sorry. I don't- I think- I, don't, I have a feeling you are innocent. No one was around, so I looked into the back window of the van. Mm. Okay. That was gruesome. Such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone a young child as you were. Fifteen years old and already you had witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess so. Well, all these years later, the new evidence that, that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes, so you've said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I've said, the guy was my best friend all through high school. And after high school? We've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. You seem to be upset by my mention of him. I just don't know what good asking the same questions all the time is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. Wait. I... It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how, this, how strict they are with the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next session. Next week will be our last meeting before your trial, so I hope you'll let me help you. Yeah, so FYI, that outfit that he's wearing is an orange jumper. He's, uh, he's in jail. I don't think you're a murderer, Sal. Yeah. You might be the only one. <laughs>